Hi everyone, we are Mike and Tess Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red version. Last time we finished up the surfing guide and arrived here in Saffron City. And and people are talking about growth rates and how wouldn't it be great if the Elite Four came around and defeated Team Rocket? Wouldn't it be? And how Silphco is a is a victim of its own fame. Silphco? Silphco. Mm. And that is Wait. No. Oh, box. Wait. Did we go to him already? I can't remember if we went to Mr. Psychic's house. I don't think we have. You don't think we have? No, we did. No, we did. Because we got the Psychic TM. Yes. <laughs> the hazards of doing things. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a guy, like, juggling, like, hovering balls or something. Like, I was, <laughs> I, it was, I don't know. Yes. But this is the Silph Co. office building. We're not going there today. Today, we are doing <laughs> the one thing in Saffron City that we could have done kind of right when you get in here. Okay. But... It is not the gym, because there's this man. Don't get defiant, or I'll have to hurt you. He's blocking the gym. But fortunately, the fighting dojo Ooh. is right next to the gym. Interesting. And it's open! There's a fighting oh. dojo. There's people in the fighting so dojo. So what do you do? Well, you fight them! Why? <laughs> 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 You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. So is it kind of like a mini gym? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the the lore here is that uh, Saffron City used to have two fully functioning Pokemon gyms. Okay. Then they decided to just have one. Hmm. And one lost. And it was the Fighting Dojo that lost. Hmm. But there's still very valuable things to be gained from being in this Fighting Dojo. And Pi, we want to maximize all money. So even though you're perfect for this... You won't be fighting everyone. <laughs> yeah, Carly, I swear shine. your move is coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. Yes. To a theater near you. To... I, I guess it's a theater. It can count as a theater. Oh, no, I was just saying it because it's like a quote from when we were kids. Oh. Coming soon to a <laughs> theater fair. near you. It was like anytime you want to like watch a Disney movie on like yeah. DVD or VHS and you like you have to sit through all the commercials first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's Carly's just eating her apple. Yeah. Her favorite apple. VHS. When was the last time you watched anything on VHS? Oh my gosh. When was the last time you saw anything that could play on a VHS? When I moved from my mom's house to our apartment, I saw a VHS player in the basement. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that... Well, that's like two and a half years, but still. Still. Yeah. 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 Since then, she's cleaned out the basement, and pretty much it's all gone now. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Oh, she hired people to do that, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't going to do that. <laughs> she's like, hmm, 20 years of just throwing things in the basement. <laughs> well, let someone else take care of that. <laughs> That's what smart people do. <laughs> he hears we're good. Yeah. How? How? I How mean, outside know? of seeing us fight his friend right across from him. Fair. He's heard the lore He's of the kid who's been coming through places <laughs> with his butterfree. <laughs> named Pai. Yes. <laughs> also, I like that we're starting to establish that each of our Pokemon has a personality. Yes. In that, like, Pai is just tired. Pai is tired. You know, Pai has been, he's been like, ugh, I do the training, I do the money getting, I do the catching. Mm-hmm. Ugh. What's, what's Dennis's personality? Dennis's personality is he wants to fight things. Okay. He just he wants to be included. He just wants to be all of the time. He That's be part of the fam. Yes. That's Dennis's thing. Yes. He's the loud one at family gatherings because he doesn't get enough attention in his own life, but on Sunday dinner, he's mm -hmm. the life of the party. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And we know that Zinc's personality is blowing things up. Yeah. Yeah, cuz he likes to light dangerous toxins on fire. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You can fight these guys individually, but that's not the the fighting spirit. Can you do and it in gotta... dual battle? No. Oh. No. Yeah. This is this is a game before they did, hey, if two trainers see you from opposite sides, it'll be a double battle. But what if they don't see you? Then it's a single battle? Yes. I want to say yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Why would they not see us? I'm confused. Well, say like <laughs> there were two. So say where there was a path and then mm-hmm. two trainers, but the, you could walk behind each trainer and then but they're looking at each other and you walk behind the trainer on the right and only the trainer on the left sees you, then wouldn't you only fight the trainer on the left? Because they saw you? Yes. Because <laughs> oh. the trainer on the right, you walked behind and they don't know you're there. That's true. That Yes. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Horg, take your shoes off. How rude of us to be wearing it, it our is, shoes in a dojo. It is very true. And if I recall correctly, yeah, we're fighting me. Aw, it's Mike. I'm a black belt. Apparently. (laughs) Wouldn't that be cool? No. Oh, so many years of trying. (laughs) No, I never tried. (laughs) You're going to be the next Jackie Chan. See, now you know who Jackie Chan is. We're watching, I'm watching know. Jackie Chan Adventures right now. I didn't know who Jackie Chan was. Yes, I mean, I, I knew him it. as like a person. Like yeah. I knew he was, I didn't know there was a show. Yeah. But yeah, I loved the Jackie Chan Adventures show and I found it. It's on something. Amazon? Probably. Sponsor us Amazon. <laughs> 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 we buy enough stuff off of Amazon and have enough Amazon boxes. Sponsor yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll take money. <laughs> I'll say, you know. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, he's been watching it while he's working. Not while he's working. No, not while I'm working. Not while. It's like on breaks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I watch it on non work times. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's very important to establish. Well, unless, that. You, unless you meant by working like doing youtube stuff yeah i do that's, that that's yeah. more or less what i was talking yeah. about like youtube related work not like actual like nine to five job work yeah yeah I mean, you do watch it on your lunch while you eat that's true i do but I like do while we're like working on youtube we ca- you have it on in the background yeah yeah you know what i should just have sir you know what dennis i know you like fighting the fighting types but sir oz he he he's a flying type he's a flying type Ooh, there are two items back there there are grunt I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! Why does everyone have such a weird fwa after? I don't know, but here's the black belt who's the head of the Karate Dojo. He's not exactly a notable trainer, so mm-hmm. we didn't like do a bio for him. Yeah. But he is level 37. Yeah. Both of his Pokemon are, which is why I recommend doing it around now, because, you know... Our team is currently level 37-ish. Fair. So, you know. And Pi, you 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 still get to be involved here. <laughs> yeah. Even though Pi would have been better against the Hitmonlee. Fair. Than against the Hitmonchan. But that's fine. You can still put it to sleep. It always works. <laughs> so tell me more lore about this gym. That's it. Oh. There used to be two gyms in Saffron City. Because Saffron is like the biggest city in Kanto. Mm-hmm. I mean, Celadon is also kind of the biggest so, city. So, like, but... when was their duel? And, like, who Before fought Before the story. The Fighting Dojo fought next door. But, like, is... did each of their trainers fight the other trainers? Like, did their masters fight, like, did the gym leaders fight each other? Honestly, it's the psychic type gym. Any one of the trainers or the gym leader could have just come in and swept Fair. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, that's why he's not notable, because he's. As long as you have, like, a flying type or a psychic type, you pretty much just win. Fair. But indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon! Choose whichever one you like. What? It is a choice. And there's a flower. Now, so you choose between two Pokemon or a flower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, it is a choice. You can only pick one. So, I'm gonna rate them! Starting with the hard-kicking Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee here is a pure fighting-type Pokemon. Let's start with the positives for Hitmonlee, because he does have quite a few. We start with his great attack and good speed. Hitmonlee is designed to hit fast and hit hard, and those things he definitely does. He also has decent coverage, kind of the same as other fighting types, but, you know, it's still important to have the coverage moves that you need in order to, you know, hit many things fast and hard. And he also comes with good special defense, so if he takes a special hit, it's not 
going to do all that much to him. As long as it's not a psychic move, which will just destroy him. However, <laughs> Himonli is extremely fragile. Um, he has very low HP and low defense, and he's basically just a glass cannon. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a glass cannon if that glass cannon can hit hard enough. The question is, does Himonli? And the answer is yes. Yes, he absolutely does. I would rate Himonli as probably the second best of the pure fighting types in the game. He's just got strong physical moves and, you know, the stats to back that up. Um, he also comes with high jump kick, which is notable for being, it's a strong fighting type move, but if it misses, which it can do, or if like they use protect or anything, it definitely does, or if they're flying, it, then he does damage to himself, a lot of damage to himself, and Hitmonlee can basically take like maybe one hit most of the time. So, you know, I, I usually stick with Brick Break if I do go the Hitmonlee route. But his coverage options include fighting, ground, rock, and normal type moves, and because he is a very effective glass cannon, he gets a very nice 8 out of 10 for in-game use. And then on the right hand side here, we have the piston-punching Hitmonchan, and actually it's very fitting that you mentioned Jackie Chan because he's named after Jackie Chan. That's hilarious. And Hitmon Lee is named after Bruce Lee. That's hilarious. Yeah, kicking and punching. Anywho, <laughs> Hitmon Chan here is also a pure fighting type Pokemon. <sighs> he's my favorite of the two. I just prefer his design, but let's start with his positives. He has good attack and special defense. Um, you know, he's actually good in both of those categories. He also has decent speed and physical defense, which, you know, makes him the more defensive of the two. Him unleashed the glass cannon, him Chan is meant to be more the skill one. Uh, he also has decent coverage. It's... it's... Here's the problem with Hitmonchan. The problem with Hitmonchan is through the first three generations, which, you know, Fire Red and Leaf Green is a part of, he learns the elemental punches, which would make him have excellent coverage. Fire Punch, Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch are a fantastic combination that are basically not resisted by any Pokemon. Uh, well, technically there is one, but he's not really relevant here. Um, the problem is that those moves are special attacks, which starts off with his negatives. Hitmonchan is one generation away from actually being able to utilize what he's got. Right now he can basically Mach Punch, which is a priority uh, fighting type move, which is still physical, so he can use his good attack power, but, you know, outside of that, Hitmonlee's got it all over him, which is his nest negative in that he is directly outclassed not only by Machamp, uh, but also by Hitmonlee, who can be obtained at the same time and at the same level. His HP also makes him fragile. Even though he has good defensive stats, he can't really back that up because he might not take too much damage from each hit, but he doesn't have too much damage to spare. His coverage options, ignoring the amazing coverage that his punches could give him in a generation where he can use his, you know, punches, include fighting, normal, ground, and rock type moves. Now, Hitmonchan is not a bad Pokemon, uh, he's just lacking in what he could have, and his stats are not good enough to be, you know, really better than a lot of other Pokemon. He gets an okay 6 out of 10 for in-game use. So now that you know what they are, and knowing that we have Dennis, so neither one's joining the team, which one do you want me to pick here? I think it's up to you. Just simply because I don't have an opinion either way. Indecision! This one! <laughs> <laughs> cool! Hit my chan. Nice. Um, we won't give him a nickname, and he'll go right to the box. But it says, what goes around comes around. Ooh. And better not get greedy. Hmm. You can only pick one. And then he grunts at us and says to stay and train karate with us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the fighting dojo. That's cool. It's just a convenient way to get a good Pokemon. Um, wow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's really cool. And remember, you can do this as soon as you get the tea from the old lady. Could so, you imagine if like you got a Pokemon after every gym? Yeah. That'd be hilarious. There's a uh, yeah. What? That can happen sometimes. What? In certain games. What? That are, I don't think any of them are um, real games. Anywho, you get the Hitmons at level 25. So, wow, Jolly Nature. That's funny. That's the best nature you can have on a Hitmonchan. Um, but 
so, you know, if you want to use them, I do recommend getting them as early as you feel like your team can take down the fighting dojo. So, you know. Wow. And that was is going to do it for this part. I think. Yeah, that yeah. was really cool. Yeah, just an easy, quick, free Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. why not? Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time for more Pokemon Fire Red version.